like I'm in your files yet. You've never been uh, photographed by Richard Wicker before? I never, I don't believe I have. Everyone I know has been. And you're, but you're friends with them? Oh, yep. yep. Yeah, we go back to the 1980s. You, you've been, we played volleyball together. You played volleyball together in the 80s? Yeah. <laughs> and you've been to the home of the future, his house? I think I came up to the door. I don't think I went in. <laughs> it was too scary? I was in your neighborhood. <laughs> what was the, you just no, I, didn't want to? It was too scary? No, I, I don't know. I wasn't invited in, I guess. I'm not sure. You weren't invited in? I, yeah, but the, I can't remember. It was like in the 80s. Well, it was a long time ago. But I, I think Richard's always had a invite all my friends in policy ever since he was born. He was born. I, know, I, I, don't, I can't think of why I, but, you know, I, 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 if you're still there, I'll have to stop by. Yeah, he, he wants you to come over. Yeah. Is that true? He loves that people come over, the doors open, come in, sit down, discuss religion. Yeah, I like well, that. What are your feelings about that? Do you like the fact that he riles people up on the Facebook? That's okay. It's okay to rile people up? Yeah, when Richard does it, it's all right. But other people who rile people up, you, you find that uh, obnoxious? or? Uh, certain people, yeah, they probably shouldn't do that. But But when you have a supreme intellectual like Richard Wicka riling them up. He can handle it, you know, so it's good. Yeah, because we're talking high-level intelligence. Yeah. I wish I had read some of his posts, but I can't say I have. You're not on Facebook? I am, but I just skip over all that stuff. Are you skipping over the feet? When I put You're this together, I'll put it on your page. Okay. <laughs> Are you friends with him on Facebook? I think I am. Well, you just when you see him on the feed, you just or, say. Or I could be like friends of his friends. I'm not sure because there's several people that do that. Probably. Well, what are some models? Do you enjoy this? It's my favorite event whenever they do it. Yep. So far, the interview is my favorite part. Really? I, I, my favorite part so far has got to be Nancy Parisi's downstairs, and she's she's uh, curing people of their, their psychological problems oh, yeah. by having them decide what they are, and then she tells them to get over it. Well, she gives them cards and says, are you this, are you that, are you ADD, are you depressed, are you a procrastinator, are you mentally ill? I'm, gonna t I, I'm not sure. Do you know what you are? Are you any, any mental problems or are you fine? Uh, I don't know. I should probably go find out. I, I, I might not. I have to think about it. I feel, I, she, she found out, she realized, she handed me a card, a couple cards, and I realized I was obsessive compulsive, I have obsessive compulsive disorder, and I also realized that uh, I was, uh, what was the other one? I can't remember. There was, oh, it's flat showing, but that's really a physical problem. And and she said, just just get over it, and now I'm over it already. I'm, not, I'm no longer OCD, I'm no longer flatulent. So you're cured. Uh, yeah, she cured me instantly. That's great. It's all in the mind. Yes. I don't yeah. think I'll go down there and find out what I can be cured of. Yeah, outside in the, uh, n near the railing. Thanks for being on. Thank you. Okay.